Hey, good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the Oki Homesteading Channel, where we got all the latest updates for you guys. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, what we're going to talk about: sponsors, um, tickets, tickets, and where to stay, where to stay, and uh, where to eat if yeah. you're not going to the expo on. Well, if you're not part of the hog processing class. Yeah, and stuff. if you have days before or after that you're needing somewhere to eat. So we have, um, we've been getting emails, messages. Hey, we're coming in for the weekend. Where are some of your favorite places to eat? Well, some of our local favorite places have been around for years. Mm -hmm. um, one being in Salina, Oklahoma. As soon as you come over the bridge, pretty much right past the convenience store, mm -hmm. right down the right hand side, yeah. they've got a little pig on there. Maybe I'll put pig the logo on it. It's called Pig and Out. One of our favorite go-to places in Salina, Oklahoma. It's like, what, eight minutes from the expo? Probably, yeah. 12 it's minutes about the from same prior. When we drive there to the school. Yep. And so they're uh, they're sponsoring the expo also. They're um, big supporters of us and the channels and stuff like that. And um, we're looking forward to seeing them at the expo. Uh -huh. And uh, if you guys are staying and want a quick place to eat, go to Pig It Out in Slant, Oklahoma. They have the best ice cream. Yeah, best ice cream. And all that kind of best stuff. Best ice cream. The girls yep. absolutely love their, their ice cream. Their burgers are really good. Yep. It's like, um, it's just a little. It's um, kind of like a Dairy Queen yeah. type thing where you get burgers, fries. Their menu kind of is huge. Yeah. Um, what was the other one that you? Your favorite place uh, yeah that i think we did we eat there yesterday <laughs> or day before yeah yeah uh los fuentes and that's in prior oklahoma so it's going to be within five five, five or so minutes of the expo itself and it's mexican food but it's really good it's a family-owned business we literally go there at least once a week yeah it's, they just, love it. it's quick it's good and the cheese yeah. dip and the guacamole the girls love yeah um so yeah if and you guys sponsoring the expo also yep they're sponsors also so those are uh two of our go-to places um one in salina one's in prior yep. los flentes is, is the best mexican place in prior hands down that's literally the only mix there's like seven yeah mexican that's the places, one we go to and that's the one we end up going to almost and they've always been times. supportive they've um they've sponsored hayden before when she went on a las vegas jujitsu yep. trip so they're just a very nice family really good family so those are our two favorite places and um yeah and then prior's got all the other yeah other there's places. all kinds yeah. of fast food and whatever all you so, want so if you um so if you do come in town early and you're just going to saturday's expo but you're in friday or thursday friday whatever go check those places out so now what else do we got um another thing we've had a few questions on hotels but we've checked with them and there are still rooms available so i would just say just google prior hotels and any of those would be fine just find your room and they'll be close but if you're wanting to camp i hadn't thought about it till you mentioned yeah. But Spavanaugh State Park, that's where I would search. It's like 20 miles from the expo, but it's the cleanest. It has a bathroom, showers. it has showers. So it's not going to be primitive camping. Like you could actually have hookups. And I checked on the site and March 11th when they'll open for that's the per season. Perfect time. And yeah. um, it's got a big spillway. It's very nice and pretty. It's got a big spillway where you can go take some pictures, some video, and let the kids play on it. The water's going over, yeah. which I'm sure it will be um, if it's warm enough. Mm -hmm. um, they got a big creek that you could fish in, um, swim in, catch crawdads, if weather permits. Yeah, I mean, obviously. I'm sure it might be too cold to swim, but the girls always put their feet in at least. Yeah, so that's uh, Spavanaugh State Park, and there's plenty of um, hookups for RVs, yep, campers, tents. tents, all that stuff. It is good, though, to go on the website and do that because a lot of that they like you to pay ahead now yeah. versus having the park host do it. It's yep. kind of online. And it, what is it? Is it uh, uh, Oklahoma well, State I just, Park? Well, I just went to Spavanaugh State Park, and the website, I think it takes you to travel Oklahoma. Okay, okay, that's what I was thinking. But it's, I mean, it's really easy to do. We've done it online, and I don't think they're going to be booked up because it's not like memorial day yeah. or fourth of july or anything like that so another um big thing uh people were asking about the tickets yeah so the tickets and we know it's kind of being the first year we've had some little hiccups of just figuring out the best way to do stuff but we only are mailing out tickets for day one people and, and they already people, mailed those out yeah those people have got their t-shirts their tickets several several weeks ago so if you bought tickets for day two or day three you will not be receiving anything in the mail so don't think you missed out on something but just keep your email confirmation if you have problems finding it we'll keep a list but it would be easier to have that on hand yep yep and now you'll get a wristband and some other things that we're given yeah and, a wristband and, and then a raffle ticket but yeah just go back and see if you got an email confirmation because nothing's going to come in the mail yep and then um if you can't find it for something like you said we'll have a list of names yeah. um, and then we'll mark your day name off there two will be easier day three that's going to be a lot of people so it would be super helpful if you could you know get the email and but it'll be quicker it or print. Yeah, yeah it'll it will get you through the line faster and not hold up traffic and everything yep so um so now the sponsorships um we're having well over ten thousand dollars worth of giveaways i know we expo. need to kind of add up because i think it's, it's more i think it's, like it's fifteen thousand dollars so fifteen thousand dollars worth of giveaways um our main uh 
huge um what would you call that the grand prize yeah grand prize giveaway grand prize giveaway is a harvest right freeze driver over a three thousand dollar value that they're sponsoring expo we're giving that away um someone at the expo is going to win that yeah, um, and you have to be there to win it's, yes. it's going to be like the last item of the day last item thing. of the day yeah. right before maybe right before the q a, Q &A. or something yeah um, so you have to stick around for that you have to be there like she said um to win it and then we're uh, giving away one or two electric bikes yeah. e-bikes we got i got to talk to the company um we got a blue Eddy, that's like mm -hmm. it's expensive oh well over a thousand dollars i mean just, just a lot of, cool of stuff, cool stuff. Yeah. and then uh yee -ye apparel yeah they sent gave us, a us bunch some of cool stuff. exclusive stuff any any granger or earl fans will definitely want to get some of that yep so we got i mean we got tons of prizes and uh, like door like door gives away yeah. whatever you call it and check us out on facebook and instagram because rachel and cassie have been doing a really good job of going through every sponsor every vendor all the speakers so they can just get yep. updated on that. Yep. So um, we're looking forward to seeing you guys there. We're going to have, what, five or six food trucks? Yep. And, yeah, I think it's kettle six. Corn, we got kettle corn, too. Kettle uh, corn, some snow cones. We have pork rinds now. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. A um, Cherokee hog fry concession yep. stand. Concession stand. So you shouldn't really need to go to leave to get food. There's going to be plenty there on that day. Hopefully. I mean, yeah. we say plenty. Yeah. Depending on how many of y'all show up. Yeah. We've sold well over 600 um, overall tickets so far, and um, they just keep coming in daily. Yeah. Um, people are waiting for like the last minute. And, and also, who knows how many kids are coming to this thing? Oh, yeah, it we don't have a crazy. clue. It's going to be awesome, though. Um, it's going to be really good um, family environment. Uh, it's going to be good networking for people who do the YouTube and yeah. Facebook and all that stuff. Or even just homesteading or farming. Yep. You can network in that way. Like, hey, I have chickens, you have goats, like, you know, and just kind of yep. getting information from each other and learning. Yep, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. So, um, um, here this week we're going to try to get down to the expo and actually film it for you all kind of give you give you the layout yeah. take the camera through there show you the hallways the the main speaking room the um where all the uh, vendors are going to yeah, be try at. to give like an aerial so you can see like hey if you come in from this highway here's where the yeah. entrance is so you'll be familiar when you do pull up you'll be familiar with it like oh, okay yeah. yeah this is where we're going to park at yeah. so maybe i'll throw i'll throw my drone up in the air and that uh, will come be stay tuned um, for that i do know rachel had had a couple people asking like their vendors spot where they would specifically be just to give you an idea before you see the video this is a small facility compared to say like a state fair facility yeah so all the vendors will be in one location they're not going to be spread out over like miles or acres yeah. or anything like it's that it's one huge building yeah under inside the building that they're going to be in all the vendors yeah so if there's a specific vendor you're looking for you won't have to like figure out what building they're in they're all in one spot you'll just find what row they're in and we're kind of waiting to give everyone their spot because we want to see how the weather's going to be we can't stick someone outside if potentially it's going to be raining on them or something. So hey, we're just kind of holding out on that. And we know how the, the meteorologists are yes. from day to day, but right now they're showing 65 for the high and, and like and a 40, little cloudy, a little cloudy. Like, good. perfect. 40 for the low. Um, it's going to be awesome. Just everyone keep your fingers crossed, but I would say come out no matter what bring yep. your raincoat bring your galoshes whatever <laughs> all we're gonna be there so bring a bring a smile on your face yeah. and let's have a good time together so yeah. i think it's all the updates for right now we'll keep you guys updated so. if you guys got any questions um send oki homesteading um, at yahoo.com oki homesteading at yahoo.com or on facebook or instagram we try to check those we've been having a lot more lately so if it takes us a while we're sorry but a ton are coming in with questions yep and if you think about it, share this video for us help us out and help other people out that maybe don't know about it or do know about it but need updates yeah. So, love you guys. Thanks for watching today's Okie Homesteading video, and uh, we'll see you soon.